afraid. All of us know what it is. At times to fear that things will engulf us, overcome us, that we have no strength to face our, our troubles and our struggles. Jesus taught us many things through words and parables, but also through his actions. And the story of Jesus walking on the water addresses this fear of being engulfed by the things of the world. Jesus walks on the water, on the, the sea that is threatening the disciples in the boat, the very thing of which they are afraid. Jesus walks on it to demonstrate his power over all those things that we fear. And St. Peter is invited to walk on the water too and join him. And so long as Peter remains focused on Christ, he too walks on the water. But the minute he becomes distracted and allows his attention to fall down into the waves, he begins to sink, he begins to drown. First of all, we should note, Jesus doesn't make the water disappear. He doesn't allow St. Peter to walk on dry land. He doesn't take the storm and the sea away, but he gives St. Peter power to overcome it. All of us, when we face our struggles, we shouldn't simply ask Christ to lift from us the things that we are troubled by, but to give us the trust, the faith and the strength to overcome them. But secondly, we should remember that so long as we too remain focused on Christ, we can overcome those things that threaten us. The minute we become distracted and allow our attention to become so focused on the sea, on our material needs, on our physical ill health, on our bank balance, we will begin to sink, we will begin to drown. St. Gregory Palamas reminds us that Jesus told the disciples to set out in the boat. By being obedient to him, they find themselves in the storm. And St. Gregory says this is a symbol of the church itself. That the church, even to the very end of time, to the Christ's second coming, will be attacked and assailed by the things of this world. We shouldn't expect simply because we're being obedient to Christ to escape troubles and struggles. In fact, through these struggles, the disciples, when they see Christ and welcome him to the boat, were told in the Gospel of St. Matthew, they worshipped him. They worshipped him because they put their trust in him. And finally, St. Gregory says, we worry so much about the material world, about our material well-being and our physical ailments, and our relationships and our future. But what we should really be concerned with are those things that are destructive to the soul. We should be more concerned with the eternal state of our soul than the short-lived momentary things of this world. But how do we do this? We remain focused on Christ just like Saint Peter. We remain focused by filling our minds and our hearts with the gospel, in prayer, in our reading. We avoid those things that will be destructive to us. We overcome temptation, we repent. We put our trust and our faith in Christ. Christ doesn't promise to always remove our difficulties, but he does promise he will give us the strength to overcome them.